Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Chevrolet Sports Update. So I got a note from a guy after the game last Sunday that said, hey, I'm going to go as Gus Bradley for Halloween. I'm going to put on a skull cap and I'm going to carry a broken record. And, I mean, whether you like Gus or not, you got to, I got to admit that's pretty funny. And, you know, Gus might be a broken record where he keeps talking about getting better and part of the process and, and buy-in and, you know, everybody on the same page and everybody striving to get better. And at some point, you have to have some results. And the Jaguars have not had any. And at least this week, Gus has talked about the next step. That, hey, they may be getting better. They may be striving to get better. But to use his words, maybe they need to strain to get better. Because they've got to do something different. Because what they're doing right now isn't working. They haven't earned it. And that's the word that Bradley used this week. You've got to earn a victory in the National Football League. They gave that one away. They let it slip away. They let it slip through their fingers last week. Mistakes by the veterans, particularly Cecil Shorts fumbling the ball inside the red zone. You know, those kinds of things are unacceptable on a team that can't overcome those kinds of mistakes because they're so young. I don't know that any team in the NFL, in the history of the league, has ever started that many rookies on offense on either side of the ball. It's unheard of, and to get 300 yards passing for the first time for Blake Bortles is quite a feat in itself. But you can't make those mistakes. A 12-year veteran like Chris Clemens cannot line up, not jump off, but line up offsides two times in the same drive. Those are the kinds of things that get you beat, and because it was so close, two points, the, the mistakes were magnified, and that's what happens. So in order to get a victory this week against the Browns, the Jaguars are not only going to have to play as well as they did last week, they're going to have to play better and eliminate the mistakes. The Browns are a better team than Tennessee, and the Jaguars get an opportunity to play at home, which is a positive thing. We'll see what they do this week, but remember what Gus said. You want to win, you've got to earn it. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the Nimnik Chevrolet Sports Update.